I've made 31 extremely quick tutorials in December and this is a compilation. I hope you learn something and have fun. Enjoy the marathon. Did you know that in Factorio you can use splitters to balance your belts? Every splitter always outputs 50% of items to each belt. This mechanic allows you to split any quantity of belts to a desired amount. You can calculate and design your own balancers yourself or steal them from the web like a true programmer. The best place to build them is in the outpost to load all the wagons at the same speed. If one side of the belt is used more often than another, one-to-one -one balancing should fix this problem. Just make sure to don't balance various items because it may cause OCD flashbacks to you and your teammates. Did you know that in Factorio you can use spiders to quickly spread freedom? Just prepare a bunch of spider drones and remotes to control them. Choose your main spider and order others to follow him with control and left click. It's important to remember that this spider is now a main character, so he basically cannot die. Fill all of your spiders with rockets, lasers and shields to be more persuasive during diplomatic talks. In case of the bad cooperation with natives, just create more spiders Spiders. You can use shift right click to copy inventory of the selected spider and shift left click to paste it and create more infantry quicker. Now you can sit inside your bunker and give orders from the map view using only one remote. This way you can easily get access to valuable resources and grab your own. Did you know that you can play Factorio like a boss? Most people are used to get watch your step achievement over and over again. But I prefer when trains are getting this achievement. If you want to jump to a moving train like a giga chat just stay on the race and press enter in the ra and press enter in the and press ra and press and press enter in the right moment like me if your friends are a bunch of losers who cannot jump into a moving train just give them a helpful tank after reaching the desired location use your car and some rockets to send a meaningful message and remember don't look behind after causing the explosion did you know that you can place belts faster in factorio some time ago developers added new quality of life changes to the game to use them go to settings interface and turn on lock belt building and smart belt dragging before you probably had a problem to place belts in a straight line now you can do it with ease, even with the advanced stage of Parkinson. This setting will also place underground belts automatically when needed, or to simply piss you off. But your favorite feature will be the smart belt rotation. Just hold your left mouse button and press R when you want to rotate the belt. With all those features, you can play Factorio faster than a cheetah. I mean, they at Factorio. And finally, building diagonal belts will be easier than ever before. Did you know that in Vanilla Factorio you can easily double your train throughput? Trains are the most effective way to make engineer pancakes and to transfer resources from your mining outpost. However, you shouldn't transfer ores. Plates in Factorio can stack up to 100 items per one slot, when ore goes only to 50 pieces per stack. By building a full nice setup at your mining location, you can take advantage of this mechanic. I'm also recommending to make a blueprint book with smelters because you will need to place them on every single outpost. Processing on the spot is especially useful for the uranium since one stack of sad rocks is equal to 1000 pieces of ore. This way there will be less trains on your rails and you will feel way safe. Ble Did you know that you can create folders for your factory saves? Segregate your well-described factories in folders to find all your saves with ease. To create folders, first turn off Factorio, then press Windows sign and R. In the window that just popped out, type percent up data percent. Now, instead of choosing dot Minecraft as usual, go to a Factorio, then saves. Now, create as many folders as you want. If you are using Linux, you probably know how to do it. And if you are using Mac, I'm sorry. Since we are already in the Factorio folder, go to config and open this file. By changing autosave slots, you can increase maximum amount of those annoying autosaves. Did you know that spiretrons in Factorio are stupid? To craft a single spiretron, you need only one fish. However, even with fish as a brain, spiders in Factorio cannot figure out how water works. This is why you should make a special landfill spiretron that will put a safety net for other spiders. It's better than filling the whole lake, because landfill in Factorio is more expensive than a healthcare in USA. By making the blueprint for a safety net, turn on snap to grid setting to make a nice repetitive grid. Also use the map view to apply your blueprints faster. This way your spiders will walk freely wherever they want. Wait!
How did you get there? Did you know that in Factorio you can send gifts to your neighbors? Artillery train is one of the best peacemaking machine in this planet, but you can use it in a completely different way. Prepare a special artillery outpost and send to it your train loaded with shells and oil. When train arrives at the station, open a map view and look for the most remote place that is still in your range and press left mouse button. Firework show should definitely improve your relationships with natives. What's more, you will scout the whole map in the process and lucky biters at the edges receive an engineering mana from the havens. Did you know that you can craft way faster in Factorio? Normal crafting speed is very slow and this simple reactor takes 1 hour and 20 minutes to craft. The most rational solution is to build a special factory which creates necessary machines. <laughs> but who cares? You can boost your crafting speed by gently placing a few power poles and even gentler a few assemblers. Set up a recipe in a single assembler, then copy it with shift and right mouse button, then paste it with with shift and left mouse button. Now you are crafting faster than inflation is going. Just remember to finish before your friends spot you. Trooper, what the fuck? Did you know that Geneva Convention was the only a suggestion in Factorio? Beginner players in Factorio use walls. Advanced players use turrets as walls. And pros build this gibberish thing. Maze and turrets combo is currently a second most powerful technique to defense your base. Because the first one is of course house water filling. Thanks to this maze design, biters are even more confused than you when you hear my accent, what makes them an easy target. You don't need to build an accurate copy of this in your factory. You can build it yourself as long as it's gibberish enough. Like always, it's good to make a blueprint that snaps to grid for easier expansion. Did you know that you can produce more energy in Factorio? Uranium is one of the best power sources. Unfortunately, it doesn't produce much pollution. Reactors are above 900 Celsius degree or very hot for people I probably shouldn't be joking about. So don't shoot your axe or don't let your neighbors get warm around them because it will fulfill your 5 year plan of heat energy in 14 milliseconds and fry your CPU. Whenever you build a new reactor try to build it as compressed as possible because this way you will save heat and produce more energy. Just be careful where you drive your tank because little distraction can cause did you know that you can shoot and run in Factorio? Artillery is simply awesome. Just look at this. The main downside of artillery is a lack of mobility. You can of course put it on the rail, but it's not enough. Prepare a special loading station with a solidified demarcation and some coal. You also need to have a car, power armor and feebles. Now drive around your planet to find biters that are in need of some bullets. Place this magic blueprint and wait for the sound of progress. After a few shots, they construct everything with bots and run away to save you. <laughs> Did you know that you can mess with your friends in Factorio? It's always good to play with your friends, as long as you have them. Everybody knows this simple spinning thing for your AFC friends, so we'll go with something better. Spidertron can follow any entity, so just get a spider, remote and press Ctrl left mouse button on your friend. Now this spider will follow him forever and he will dance on his grave. New train controls are the best thing since the invention of a sliced bread. Use it to change a train destination nation with your friend on board. Works better in bigger bases. If you still have some friends left and you know, they often stand still while calculating or crafting, you can send them a super... Did you know that in Factorio you can stalk your neighbors? Raiders in Factorio are used to scout a new chunk every 33.33333 seconds. 7x7 chunks around radar gives you access to a better map view. Prepare a power pole, 6 accumulators, 7 solars, radar and 2 lights to power solars at night. With this construction spread around your factory you can easily watch the whole world. You know, now you see biters and now you don't. And thanks to a remote version of radars your power poles don't look like cables in your server room. With enough amount of radars you can always see your neighbors when they are up for some barbecue. Did you know that you should get out of here in Factorio? Lack of resources is a big headache during factory expansion. Ore deposits around your base are typically very poor and are depleted faster than Black Friday stuff. If you want to find richer patches you should travel as far as possible from a spawn point. For example this small iron deposit is richer than Scrooge McDuck himself. With patches that big you can experiment with beacon miners or with direct mining into trains. Just be careful not to die in a stupid way, because the return trip will cost you time and sanity.
Did you know that you can mine green rocks in the factory? Uranium is used to create export goods like rockets and for inside use. Unfortunately, uranium is more difficult to mine because you need to create special sulfuric acid drain. Mined ore needs to be processed in centrifuges into happy glowing rocks and unhappy normal rocks. Before you turn your happy rocks into negotiation tools, you should multiply them in a covarex process. Build a loop with few centrifuges inside, filter inserters and smart splitters. Nuclear fuel can be used to increase your train speed and as a heat source in nuclear power plants. With all this knowledge you're ready to make this planet a better place. Did you know that green rockets are eco-friendly in factory? Every building in your factory produces pollution. Assemblers, miners and even chemical plants. Smoke air is not a big deal for engineers, but currents around keep asking for the talk with manager. You can use nuclear rockets to decrease your pollution level. Every tile in factory absorbs a fixed amount of pollution per second. For grass it's 75 units. Water absorbs 50 units and ties placed by the player like concrete, stone bricks or landfill absorbs nothing. This is why you should nuke all the landfill and turn it in a nuclear grant which soak up 25 units per second. Thanks to this tip currents your neighborhood will leave you alone. If not, just turn them into a nuclear grant. Did you know that you can generate better words in factory? Starting patches are often more disappointing than an Asian kid with only 95% score from an exam. This is why you should spam this button until you find something good. If it's your first game then look for a big forest because trees consume pollution what will decrease quantity of diplomatic talks at the beginning. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Oh what? And you can always nade or nuke those trees later. Mixed ores are as good as mixed french fries with a ketchup. Please don't do it. Just look for maps with starting patches of a reasonable size to make building quicker. Also those great dots stands for rocks that are a nice booster of stone and coal in the first hour. Some people say that map preview will ruin your gameplay but I'm sure that small mixed starting patches desert and mean aliens will ruin it way faster. I'm big, this will suck. Did you know that car is the new belt in Factorio? You can transfer items using various methods. However, there is no perfect solution. For example, you can set up bots with ease, but they take more power than Bitcoin miners who boost prices of graphic cards and normal players cannot buy them and Nvidia, yeah, that's Belts are good and easy solution. This is why you should upgrade them. Build a loop out of belts. Set up a timer with simple logic. Place few cars, add input inserters and machines for items consumption. This overcomplicated setup will make you look like you know what you are doing. But we all know that... Try Did you know that bots in factory are stupid? You probably saw this multiple times. Bots are trying to fly, but they are constantly running out of power. Or when you want to build a setup for your spider drone DJ. But bots don't fly out of you and they fly from all corners of your factory instead. Press Alt D to grab at the construction planner and destroy your build. Then quickly press Ctrl Z. This way you can reset a construction queue and build faster. You can also mine your bots to make charging quicker. Just don't deconstruct yourself. What the fuck? Did you know that you can build a bullet train in Factorio? Circuit logic can be connected to everything, including train stops. Dedicate a few square inches of your factory for a bullet making manufacturing. Build a loading station with all kinds of ammunition, fuel and maybe some liquids. Now include a loading station with the same name in all of your outposts and set up a circuit logic. Disable if less than 200 bullets. Thanks to this feature you can supply your whole factory with a healthy amount of bullets and oil for your factory. What's more, bullet train can easily drive through. Oh, holy fuck! Did you know that you can build a bus in factory? You probably design your base the same like you design your code and spaghetti is not the best way to go. Change this by building a bus. Prepare for belt lines for resources, make two tiles of space and build another four belts. Repeat multiple times. Whenever you want to craft something, make a branch and split required stuff. Try to put only necessary items on your bus, like rockets, rocks and rocks. With a little bit of skill you can make a diagonal bus and become public enemy number one. Did you know that you can have free electricity in factory? At some point everybody faces this problem, lack of power in your factory. Steam power is a nice solution, but smell of barbecue attracts all your neighbors but it forces you to increase your military spendings a lot. Nuclear plant can fix this problem since steam turbines produce only unharmful mist. However, bigger bases will suffer with a lack of computing power. This is why you should build a huge solar panels and accumulators manufacturer to pay only once for the power. To make transition easier, connect one of your accumulators to nearby pump and set logic to A less than 10. Now your base will have free energy and you will be safe.
Fuck, did you know that you can load your oil faster in Factorio? Fluid mechanics are very tricky and many new players rage quit Factorio when they see even a few ounces of oil for the first time. First, secure some resources for scientific reasons and show an eviction letter to nearby natives. Liquid mechanics are very easy. All fluids tries to stay on equal level in all connected pipes, but loses pressure on a long distance. This is why you should use underground pipes to improve flow on long distance and pumps to keep a high pressure. Whenever you load or unload your trains, use 3 pumps per wagon with direct connection to a tank for a maximum transfer speed. With those tips you can easily grow your oily kingdom to enormous sizes. Did you know that environment is overrated? It's hard to expand factory and build better future with environment on the way. You can get rid of trees with a deconstruction planner set to trees and rocks only, but you'll end up with tons of unnecessary wood. Since you cannot dump your trash to ocean in factory, you'll be forced to build these machines. This is why grenades are one of my favorite tools to fix this problem. Instead of using grenades during usual persuading talks with your neighbors, use them to replant some trees. However, the best method is to use nukes. Just Speaker, yep. Did you know that your factory can go faster? It's hard to expand in more remote places of our planet. Special building train can solve this problem. Build a loading station, pick all necessary items and mark dedicated slots with a mouse scroll click. Simply adjust train to your needs and preferences. You can also make a diplomatic train to negotiate land prices. Before you bring your main building train. To maximize potential of those trains, you have to prepare an unloading and loading blueprint for easier boss access. Building train is very expensive and simple upgrade. Did you know that in factory you can harvest fit? Did you know that you can heal yourself in Factorio? First, collect a few fishes from your nearby lake. You can even help yourself with a deconstruction planner. Every fish will heal you by 80 points, so three fishes are almost enough to get you to full health. With a proper juggling technique, you will out-talk all the natives during terrain negotiations. If you run out of fishes, feel free to build a fishing station for a constant supply of omega fats. The only downside of healing in Factorio is the fact that you cannot heal your teammate. Fuck! Did you know that you should play Factorio smarter, not harder? This this game has many awesome mechanics, but you probably use only a few of them. Inserters are probably smarter than you think, so it's good to use their smartness in some good way. You can easily double your turret damage by adding another layer of defenses. Steel production will be easier than ever before with direct furnace to furnace smelting. However, the most broken use of inserters is with your lab. You can make a pyramid of science or build some boring lines and inserters will always know which lab is a specific science. Pack. Just be careful when you transfer your highly explosive shells, because they cannot stack, that's all, they don't explode. Did you know that you can use negotiation tools in Factorio? It's sometimes hard to persuade your neighbors using only friendly sounds. This is why you should pull out the big guns, but it's not a viable option at the beginning. Prepare around 1000 bullets and 100 turrets, then change the toolbar from sub trooper to turrets and bullets. With this setup you can jump at nearby wildlife and quickly place turrets. Then change to bullets, press Z and move mouse around. There is nothing better than sound of a pure expansion. I know that there is one even more powerful technique, but how to feeling is not a vanilla option, so you cannot mark. Did you know that you should take your oil in Factoria? You can use oil to make wonderful items. For example, this is my small production of heartwarming capsules. Some seeds generate your oil far away from a respawn, and it's hard to get it back. Right after researching oil, there is no huge demand for it. This is why you can prepare a simple car filled with barrels. Then go to your mining outpost, unload empty barrels and load your car with filled one. It's a temporary solution for early game and you should switch to trains as soon as possible for faster expansion. Trains are the best transport solution and they have zero down to Did you know that you can be nice in Factorio? Efficient modules are one of the best modules in the game. Thanks to them you can easily reduce your pollution production and power consumption. Solar panels can provide you with green energy and hand mining will provide you with all resources you will ever need. Trees around your base should stay untouched because they are important to a local ecosystem. Green water is a big indicator that tells you how many mistakes have you done. In the new year your factory shouldn't grow but rather shrink over time. Okay, I think we'll lose those ugly biters into a false sense of security because the next year will come with a big surprise for them.